Hey guys, welcome to Rubra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter 18 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Kerma, we are going to look at template driven forms. Objective of this video is to understand how to unit test the template driven forms. Now, here is a simple example of a password reset form and in this form I have included an email id and button. So, here as soon as I enter a proper email address, the button will be enabled. If I do not enter a proper email address, the button will be disabled and the message will be shown here. So, I entered a proper email address and then I uh, click on the submit. Then, a message appears that email sent for password reset. So, this is a typical password reset form that I have used here. Now, let's go and see its code. Now, here is the code for our demo template driven form. Now, in this one, since it is a template driven form, everything is within the template. Now, here you can see I have created a ng form which is a directive which contains all the properties of the form and which emits events like ng submit that occurs when the form is submitted. Then, uh, there is a success message div. So, as soon as the form is submitted, this message will be displayed. Then, there is a input form control now here it is created using the user email equal to ng model and ng model and also i have added two validations now the first one is required that means the email is mandatory so the email field is mandatory and the second one is the email it checks the email address entered by the user is valid then there is a submit button added here which will be disabled if the form is invalid so i have named the form as forgot form and which if it is invalid it will be disabled then coming to the class file here i have used at the rate view child for forgot form and this forgot form view child variable will connect with our form in the template then there is a message string and a user email variable now there is also a method that is written here is submit form. Whenever the button is clicked, this method will be called. Now, here I have checked whether this or what form is valid or not. If it is valid, following events will be executed. That means the message is set, user email is nullified or blanked, and the forward form, that is our form, is reset. Now, we need to test this scenario. Now, in order to test it, I have created a simple spec file. Now, here demo form component. So, the component is created along with that picture is created. Then, declarations for demo form component. And then, I have included forms module. Now, why I have included the forms module? Because in order to work with template driven forms, we have to include the forms module. Same as when we are using the form group, we have to use the reactive forms module. After creation of the test bed, I have also created the picture instance component instance and executed the picture dot detect changes now i am going to write the test case to first check the validity of our email i'm going to write a test case here so this is a simple test case that i have written so email check invalid so it will check whether the email is invalid or not now in this one i have created a variable for email and that is created using component dot forward form that is the variable we had created using view children dot forms now the forward form is a variable of type ng form which contains the form information and in that forms dot controls which will actually give us the information about the form control that is present within the form and here i have mentioned the user email then I'm going to check email dot valid. That means whether the email is valid or not. Now in this case, no value is set, hence it will be false. That means to be false. Then I'm also going to check component dot forward form dot valid. That means our form is valid or not. So it will be again false, hence to be false. Then here I have set email dot set value as abc. Now this is not a proper email address hence when i am going to expect email dot errors and here in the brackets i have mentioned email it will be 
Okay, true, true. So when I want to check a specific type of error within our errors array of a particular form control, I have to include it like this. So first errors, then whatever the type of the validation that has to be included in the single quote. And in this case, this will be true. true. I'm going to save this and watch it in the browser how it is executed. Now here you can see that our test has failed. Now why it has failed? Cannot read property valid or undefined. And at what line it is failing? At line 28. Now going back to our code and checking the line number 28. Now it is checking email dot valid to be false. It should have worked if it had been a reactive form. Why? Because when we are working with reactive forms, the form group and the form controls are immediately registered within the component instance. But when we are working with a template driven form, the template is generated a bit later. So what happens is that all the form controls are registered a bit later, which becomes a asynchronous event. Whereas our tests are a synchronous execution. It will be executed step by step. As soon as the before each is executed, the it test spec will be executed immediately. But our template driven form takes time to register the form controls and hence the email remains undefined. Why? Because before registering of our form controls, the test case is executed. So in order to resolve this, I'm going to include it in the async test form. And as soon as it is included in the async test zone, I'm going to add when stable as well. Now I'm going to move this entire test scenario into the when stable block and execute this test. Now our test execution is completed, and here you can see email check invalid should check email field is not valid is executed successfully so you have to remember that whenever you are dealing with template driven forms make sure that whatever the test cases are returned for testing the or unit testing the form controls it has to be included in a async test zone or a fake async test zone why it is because the template driven forms take more time to register the form controls and hence it has to be included in the async. Now there are two more test cases I have written to demonstrate the use of template driven form while unit testing them. So the first one is going to check whether the email is valid. Now in this case as usual I have created a variable for our form control user email and set a value abc at the rate gmail.com that is a correct value as per the email standards and then check component dot valid to be true and again there is another check that i have written here expect component dot forgot form dot valid so it will be valid since the value for the email is set correctly hence this will be true as well and hence expect is set to to be true so this test case will pass as expected because the value is proper whether the email address and the form is valid. Then the next test case that I have written is regarding the submission of form. Now here again I have included it in the async zone with fixture.when table. Here I have created the variable for the user email form control. I have correctly set the value here. Then I have execute component dot submit form. Now this is the method is called when the submit button is clicked. Once this method is executed, I have executed fixture dot detect changes. Now fixture dot detect changes is executed because as soon as the submit form is submitted, a message is displayed on the browser that the email is sent successfully for password reset. Now here I am taking the success div and I am going to check success message dot native element dot inner text that is whether the message that is present in our tape is same as component dot message that means the variable message that is present in the component and since the both the values will be same after the form is submitted 
our expectation will be executed successfully. So this test case will be executed successfully as well. So I'm going to save this. And let's see the results. Now here you can see both our test cases email check valid and the form submit are executed successfully. And this is how a template driven form is submitted. Now before we leave, do remember that when we are testing the or unit testing the template driven form, we have to take care of the asynchronous registration of the form controls, which is not the case in reactive forms. I hope you have understood this video. Do subscribe and thank you.